Today I'm going to show you how to save, back up and do some project management all on Affinity Photo 2 on the iPad. Now I know what you're thinking, saving, backing up, project management, that's not a very exciting tutorial. And you know what? You're right, it's not very exciting, but it's a necessary thing that we'll have to learn, especially on the iPad. If you're used to coming from a Mac or a PC, you kind of know how files work and backing up. And on the iPad, things are a wee bit different, or at least they're different for me. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to save, which is very important, how to back up, which is equally as important if something happens to your iPad, and then how to project manage your files. Hopefully I can make this video interesting. I think I will. I think you'll learn something. So let's get into it. I'm going to tap on Affinity Photo 2 on the iPad, and it just takes a few seconds to open up. And the first thing you see when you open up Affinity Photo 2 is all my documents or all my projects or the recent projects I've been working on. And there's quite a few here. There's some thumbnails and other bits of artwork I've been doing. And as soon as you open up the app, this is what you'll see, or at least this is what I see. You'll see something different with the projects you've been working on, or maybe you've got no projects at all and it'll just be blank. But I've got, I've got quite a few here. And it's important, it's so, so important to keep your projects organized and more importantly, to make sure they're saved and backed up. So I'm just gonna go up to the top here. The first thing you'll notice is the pictures or thumbnails really. These are just thumbnails. These are pictures of the artwork. Just a preview, it's not the full artwork. If I click into this project, you'll see that this project is actually square. If you're curious, I'm doing headshots for everyone in my company for all their email signatures. So that's that's what this project's all about. I'm not, I'm not gonna go into layers and show you everyone in my company. No one wants to see that and uh, I might get in trouble. So I'll not do that, but simply it's just a photograph brought into Affinity Photo and these guides are just marked out. So I can kind of get everyone's face in the same position. But the thing we're pointing out here is this is a square image. If I tap back, you can see that it's kind of landscape. Again, this is passport photos I'm working on for my kids. My kids need to renew their passport photo and you can see it's a bit more portrait. And when we go back, it just takes a snippet of that. And that's pretty good and that's pretty handy. And that's why my son here and my other kids here's heads are cut off. So the first thing to note, it's just a preview of the artwork. The next thing you'll see is the X. If I want to, you can close the project. We'll maybe go into that in a minute or two. We've got the file name and then we've got this M. If you look, M appears in quite a few of these projects or certainly the projects at the top. And that means that the project has been modified. And if I was to close this project now, it wouldn't save the changes I've been working on. If I want to get rid of this M, this modification, that I've worked on, whatever the case might be. I'll just hit back. If I tap these three lines, I can save and save as. If I save, the project is simply gonna save and now you'll see the M has disappeared. Same again with this project M. There's been something modified, but not been saved. So if I close this project, I've lost all my changes. So again, I'm just gonna save that. It's gonna take a few seconds. The M will disappear. This is a project, if we tap in on one of my last videos, this is my Christmas photo, my family Christmas photo that I did in December, all in the Findlay photo. Definitely want to save that and definitely want to back that up. We can tap the two, three lines up here and click save, but if we just swipe across, swipe right to left, there's a few icons here and this first one is the same thing. It's just a save button and I'll show you that again on another one with them. Here is myself here looking rather silly, which again is part of this photo. So if I just swipe across right to left and if I hit save, the M has disappeared. And I think, or at least I hope, here's the Indiana Jones one again. I'll just swipe across, hit save. So we can use the three lines and save or we can swipe across and hit save. And I think everything else, there shouldn't be any more M's. Now, if we go back to the top, we can also save as. So if we click these three lines, we can click save as and it's going to come up with a file name. Currently, it's called headshots because headshots for my company dot. And this is the Affinity Photo extension. If you're used to Photoshop, it'll be dot PSD. But in Affinity Photo, it's dot AF Photo. We can save the history of all the changes I've made in this or not. Normally, I don't, be, to be honest. And if we just hit save, now this is save as. So it's saving a copy somewhere else. And 
This is it currently saved on the iPad. If I want to click on the iCloud Drive, just simply click iCloud Drive and move. And that will now be saved on my iCloud Drive, which is great. So it'll be saved here in a Finley photo on the iPad and it'll also now be saved in iCloud just as a backup. So that's one way of saving as. We can click the three lines, go down to save as, or if we simply swipe across, this second icon here is save as. So if we tap that, it's the same information, file name, save history, save, and we can save it into iCloud or the Dropbox or wherever else. And we actually see iCloud is currently syncing that photo up. So we'll just cancel out that because we've already saved it. That's everything these three lines do. Save, save as, and quite often I will save a big project like this Christmas photo to somewhere else just to be sure, to be sure. There's a bit of an ordinary iron saying for you there. The other icon you see when you swipe across from right to left is this here icon. And simply that's just going to duplicate this file. And why might you want to duplicate this file? No idea why do you want to duplicate me in this pose. And if you're curious what this looked like, this is just a bit of behind the scenes of uh, my family photo. That is how I got that photo. It was shot on my iPhone 14 Pro and just using our wee breakfast bar stools, a white background, and you can see my son playing in the background with his toys. And uh, that's, that's how we took that photo. But... Uh, as it cut out and maybe in another tutorial I'll show you a bit about that but certainly a big project like this I would duplicate it and save it because you're just not sure in all my time of using Affinity Photo 2 on the iPad I've never lost a file but I don't want that to happen just because I'm overconfident that Affinity Photo won't crash or maybe it'll have a new update it's already had a few updates since version 2 and I don't want anything especially when you, you put so much time into a project like this you definitely don't want to lose it. So I've duplicated those two files. You can see it's, it's come up copy here and copy here, the duplication. I'm simply just going to exit out of this and it's going to say close without saving and that's okay. I'm also going to close this copy, close without saving. If you close this document now, you will lose any changes you've made to it, which you've not already exported or have saved. You cannot undo this action. That's okay. We'll just close that. And I'm going to name this file. And you'll notice all my projects are fairly well named going all the way down here, but this one isn't. So I'm simply just going to click the three dots and save as, tap in here, and I'll simply just call this one Andrew. Hit save. And it's asking me where I want to save it. And currently all my files are saved in the Finley photo folder on the iPad. So we'll simply just click move or just tap move. And now that will be saved and it's updated my file name. And we'll just bring our dock up. And if I just move files over here, you will see all my files. And let me just click these three dots and make it go full screen so you can see a wee bit more. All my files here. There's a logs folder here, which Affinity Photo automatically generates, but everything else you can see .af photo. It's got the same file structure or the same name as what's in Affinity Photo. And from here, obviously in the Files app, you can also upload it to Dropbox or to your iCloud or different or to different places. We'll just come back into Affinity Photo. And the other thing I should have talked about when I was talking about this M here, and I'll just swipe and save that so that disappears. Even if you click into a project, so let's say any project, let's say the Indiana Jones logo here. If I click into this and if I don't do anything, if I just click out, you will see an M now appears. Even though I clicked into Indiana Jones and hit back, I did absolutely nothing. I didn't touch anything but the back button. It's come up this M for modified, even though it hasn't been modified just because I opened that. And again, it's disappeared. I'll show you it again. I'm not doing anything, this is real time. I'll hit back, the AM now appears, and sometimes that can throw you off if you're, if you're not saving it regularly. So everything's been saved, there's been a lot of backed up. The other thing to note is if I make a new document, and I'll simply go into new, new document, and it doesn't really matter what I'm working on, we'll go to A4, we'll hit OK, the new document's been made, we'll go back, the new document will be placed in the first location here in the Findlay photo. If for whatever reason we want to move this project, we're going to simply 
tap and hold. And it does this jiggly motion that if you're on the iPad, you're well used to. And it's just like changing your apps on the iPad. And we can move that down there. And that's grand. If I want, for whatever reason, me to move up here, we're going a bit of jiggery pokery move it about and you can structure things like that i'm just going to close this out and again it's going to say close without saving that's okay another thing you can do which is absolutely brilliant for bringing projects together for grouping them is the same thing hold tap and hold on any project and then if you simply just bring your finger over another project and let go we now have a new project and seeing this is my Christmas photo 2022, I think it'd be a good idea to bring all these elements into this folder. And, and this is brilliant because it's really grouping lots of artwork together and it's making my project space a lot neater and tidier. Oh, I missed that one. So new project. Absolutely fantastic. Everything's in there that should be. I don't want it to be called new project. So I'm simply going to tap on these three lines and rename it. And I'm going to rename it Christmas Picture 2022. Or Christmas Photo 2022. Okay. Christmas Photo 2022. And now when I click into it, it's the same thing that was seen before. We'll just hit back. But now it's just devoted to this project. And again, if I want, I can move things around. If I want my youngest son to be in the first location, I can do that. And then when I hit back, you'll see that he is there in the first location. But really, I think I want the final project in the first location because it looks really well. When you go back, you'll know straight away. And, and if you swipe it again from right to left, another icon comes up and that's simply rename. So you can make changes, OK or cancel and we'll not do anything else. Say for some reason, the Indiana Jones project has been accidentally put in to our Christmas photo 2022. How do you get it out? If you click into it, you have to then click on the three dots and hit move out of project. And it has been moved out and now it's back at the very bottom. And I'm just looking. This is my YouTube thumbnail for this project. Say I move it in and I don't really want my, I want all my YouTube thumbnails put together. So I could do the same thing. I could go down. I've accidentally clicked into it. I'll hit back. I could do the three lines and move out a project. And again, we've got save, save as. You can do everything that you could do in the last window. But again, just by swiping right to left, you've got this new icon, which is an arrow pointing up this way, which means move out of project. So we'll just do that. And now that's out of the project. And we'll go back. And seeing I talked about thumbnails, again, organization is so, so important. File structure or file names are so, so important too. Again, I've clicked into that. Accidentally, I'm going too close to the screen. And there's that M appearing. So I'll just, just to keep myself right, I'll save that. And I'm actually going to move all these thumbnails into one project so again tap and hold at the top here and if you want you don't even need to tap and hold the top you can tap and hold the top you can also tap and hold leave it for a few seconds and it won't enter into this project it'll actually do that jiggly thing again and we can move move it into this project so that's all our projects again we'll rename that i'll just simply rename it YouTube, click OK, and I'm missing another one down there, so I'll put that back in, click into this, and again, we're going to move these around. I'm just looking at all the names, and that's in the wrong location, so I'll bring that back up, and that's just me being a bit of, a bit of OCD there. If you didn't notice what I did there, all these numbers are in the correct order, and then you get 68 was down to see here, so I just needed the most recent thumbnail up in the top corner, so my OCD coming out, and really, these are YouTube projects, so I'll maybe just bring these YouTube projects together, and I'll maybe even bring, this is just the Findy Photo 2 logo, I'll maybe bring that into YouTube projects also, and again, I can rename it there, or swipe, and I'll just call this YouTube projects. And all these other things are really, well, I'll not do that one. That's a work project. These are family projects. So I'll maybe just type in family projects for this. 
and I can order this about if I want, but I'm happy enough with that. It's so, so important. It's a bit of a boring subject, but it's absolutely crucial. It could uh, it could save your job. It could save your life. No, it probably won't save your life, but it certainly could save your, your job. It could save you doing a project all over again. And it's just good to have a good knowledge of how this works. And when you go into Affinity Photo, everything's now a lot neater and tidier than what we started with. Remember to save often. Remember to back up especially important projects. Don't just keep it in your iPad. Your iPad could be could get stolen. It could crash. It could break. Numerous things could happen. Important projects always back up to somewhere else. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. More importantly, hopefully you learned something and now you'll never be able to say, Andrew, I lost files, I lost artwork because of you. No more excuses, because now you're a project management wizard. Yep, it's a real thing. If you found any value in this video, please give it a like. Please subscribe, as there's going to be lots more videos coming out on Affinity Photo 2 soon. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.